Hi guys, welcome to Sugar and Spice Cook with Huma. In today's episode, I am going to make chicken enchilada. And for the measurement of the ingredients, please check down the descri description below. And uh, let's see what ingredients I'm going to use for today's recipe. All right, for today's recipe, we need these uh, following ingredients. Over here, I have about three um, chicken breast fillets, uh, one medium onion chopped, and some tortillas. Okay, I'm using uh, flour tortillas, and uh, make sure that you're using, besides for enchiladas or for tacos, uh, not the burrito ones, because um, the tortilla for burritos are larger in size. All right. And the other ingredients are, um, I have over here some chipotle peppers, which is an adobo sauce. You can find it in a can like this in any grocery store, uh, especially in a um, Mexican food section. Uh, some green onions chopped for topping, uh, some jalapeno pepper chopped, some jalapeno uh, pepper sliced, like so for topping, it's optional. Uh, some fresh garlic chopped like so one can of tomatoes uh, it is about 14 to 15 ounce can and 115 ounce can of pinto beans and a blend of shredded cheese which is monterey jack and cheddar cheese uh, sour cream and a little bit of oil and we also need about two cans of 19 ounce uh, enchilada sauce. Uh, I am using the red one. You can also find the green enchilada sauce. You can buy it again from any uh, of your local grocery stores. But I'm using red enchilada sauce in this one. And we also need uh, some salt and whole cumin seeds for seasoning. All right, over here, I am going to turn on my stove. And I'm going to add these chicken breast fillets. Going to add about two cups of water. We're not going to add a lot of water in it, just enough that um, our chicken uh, can be perfectly cooked because we're not going to throw away this water. We are going to dehydrate the water along cooking this chicken breasts. All right, this step is optional, but I insist you do it. I'm adding a pinch of salt and a pinch of black pepper powder and a little bit of garlic powder. And, and if you don't have garlic powder, just add about one to two cloves of fresh garlic, including one tablespoon of white vinegar. The reason why I'm doing this step is to get rid of that raw chickeny smell um, because mostly when you boil the chicken um, even though it's it becomes completely cooked it still have this uh, raw chicken smell in it which I'm very sensitive to so this step is optional if you do it good if you don't want to do it just skip it Okay, I'm going to cook it until it is completely cooked. Two. Close the lid. We're going to check back on it in 15 minutes. All right, let's check on these chicken breasts. Yes, they are pretty much well cooked. And as you can see, there is almost no moisture left. I have evaporated all the moisture. And now I'm going to let it cool down and I'm going to shred this boiled chicken. All right, over here in the same pot that I cook the chicken breasts, in here I'm going to add about uh, five tablespoons of oil and I'm going to add the onion and cook it until it becomes slightly translucent. 
at the same time I'm going to add the chopped green chilies and you can add the salt and cumin seeds at the same time I'm going to cook it for about six to seven minutes on high flame all right now our onions are pretty much cooked and now I'm adding the shredded chicken back I'm going to cook it for about one minute or so the long onions and chili pepper now I'm adding the uh, adobo uh, chili peppers I have chopped them adding these chopped garlic now I'm not adding a lot of salt here because remember the pan enchilada sauce we are using also has uh, a lot of salt in it and the cheese we're going to use on top is also salty so be careful here when I boil the chicken I added just a pinch of salt And these adobo chili peppers are uh, very spicy. I am making about uh, medium spicy. So if you want to uh, increase the level of food in it, you can add three to four adobo chilies in it. Now, if you cannot find adobo chili for those viewers that they live in um, those countries, I'm sure they will face hard time. Just um, add dried um, chili powder in it not the hot one the mild one about two tablespoons and if you don't have that one either simply skip it okay I'm adding this canned diced tomatoes along its juice And now I'm going to cook it for maybe four to five minutes. All right. Um, I have reduced the moisture after adding the tomato can in the shredded chicken for about, um, it is reduced about 75 to 80 percent. But we do not want to make it very dry, dry. And don't want it uh, very watery or soggy as well. Now I've added the pinto beans in it. I'm going to stir it to mix the chicken and beans together. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to turn off the stove and we're going to stuff it in our tortillas. Three. Okay, over here what I'm going to do is before stuffing the uh, tortillas. I'm going to add half of the sauce the bottom of the pan that I'm going to bake in and now going to get the tortillas going to add about two tablespoons of shredded chicken and I'm going to roll it like so wrap it and we're going to um, keep the seam side or edge side towards the bottom going to make another one just 
roll it like so, place it in your baking pan. All right, now I have stuffed all these tortillas and uh, placed them in this baking sheet in such manner. And now I am going to drizzle or pour the remaining can of enchilada sauce on top of these stuffed tortillas. Make sure that you are covering all dry areas on top. like so. And over here I have about two cups of shredded Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese sprinkle all over. And Alright, so over here I have some cheese left. Pretty much I have used about a cup or a cup and a half of uh, cheese over here. The remaining I'm going to use for the second batch. Uh, I have preheated my oven for uh, about 350 to 60 degrees. We're going to bake this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Remember, pretty much everything is cooked over here. So we're not cooking anything or baking anything in it. We're just going to melt the cheese on top. Uh, so let's place it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, it's already preheated. For 350 degrees, I'm going to check back on it in 15 minutes. All right, let me check. Yes, it is ready. Okay, remember guys, we don't have to um, cook anything here we just need to melt the cheese and it barely took me 10 minutes or so it depends on the heat of your um, oven so it's pretty much ready all right now I'm going to add some sour cream on top you can use um, also some pickled jalapenos, some chopped tomatoes or cilantro on top, some sliced fresh jalapenos, and some chopped green onions. That's it, it's pretty much done. Okay, now you see how beautiful, beautifully it is done. I'm going to take one enchilada out of here. I'm going to put in the plate. You see this cheese melting? Okay, oh it looks so good. I'm going to add some sauce on top. Alright guys, uh, I hope you like today's recipe and you guys are going to give it a try. Uh, please let me know about your feedback and please, please, please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, hashtag Cook with Huma, and you can also like my page on Facebook, Sugar and Spice Cook with Huma. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.